Hello. Yeah, today I'm uh, looking at a game called Dragon Wars. I uh, just found out that this is available to play online, <coughs> or you can uh, buy a copy of it from Steam for about ten dollars. It's a very old game. They have updated and upgraded it if you wanted to use those versions. They look a lot better than this. I played this on a Commodore 64 a long time ago and uh, have old copies of it. Uh, this particular copy is a DOS copy which you know, is available online. Again, you know, it's an old game so it doesn't really have all the features of a new game but you know, it was a lot more fun. You know, it is something that you buy once. Again, you know, currently $10 and then you can play it all the way through and you can play it over and over again you know, as you play each time you can develop your characters a little differently you do create characters give them names give them capabilities uh, you don't ever see your characters but for example you know, if we looked uh, let's let's say we'll take a look at Arnold uh, let's see here Arnold is using a brigandine armor and a broadsword right now. He has 111 gold. He does have uh, several abilities, uh, arcane lore, fist fighting, tracking, sword, swimming, low magic, and forest lore. You can, uh, you can develop them with strength, dexterity, intelligence, spirit. Spirit raises how much magic they have, health. Right now I don't have anything to assign to any of those, but just to show you what uh, is available. Uh, there are different lores that help throughout the game. Uh, you can teach them a bandage skill, which uh, gives them back some other hit points after they've been attacked. It isn't great, uh, especially once you get in there, you'll find that you can get uh, low magic with healing spells. Pretty quickly, right? Yeah, this is the beginning of the game. I've played for a little while and developed the characters a little bit, but uh, yeah, again, yeah, very beginning of the game, you can get uh, low level magic spells for free, and those low magic spells will allow you to heal. So, right now, I mean, he does have low magic, it's turned on. He could get uh, druid magic, high magic, or sun magic to go with that and he can use axes, flails, maces, sword, two-handed bows, crossbows, or thrown weapons if you want to give them the ability to do that. Right now he only has the ability to use a sword. Uh, he's in the front line so that's perfectly fine. Each one of these of course what you end up doing is uh, they each get a different magic skill. So for example, uh, I've, let's see uh, Apple Blaze is using Druid Magic, Sunny's using Sun Magic, one of these is using uh, High Magic, I forget which. And then they all get Low Magic because you get the spells for free early on. So, the way this game works, I mean I'm just wandering around right now. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so you come up with Bandit, yeah, three Bandits at 20 feet. Uh, and it gives you a cute little thing about you know why they're willing to attack you. Uh, you have the option to fight. Quickly fight just means you're just going to take the, the default values. You can run or you can advance ahead. 20 feet away. I'm not going to worry about advancing ahead because that will give them the first strike. So I'm just going to start with fight. And you can, uh, in fighting, you can attack, dodge, block, cast a spell use an item, select a new weapon, load your weapon if you have a bow or a crossbow, and each character gets the chance to run or to move. Uh, most of these, I mean, this is not difficult because I've been here for so long, I'm just going to attack, 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 and then Apple Blaze, who's all the way in the back, the first four characters can attack with a melee weapon. Beyond that, they have to use a bow. And he happens to have a bow and arrows, so we're just going to let him attack as well. Immediately the bandits advance, but you don't see them advance. Like I said, it's a very old game, very old style. The graphics aren't perfect. Uh, 
the animation simply moves around through several different pictures, and you know, it's low grade, but it's you know, it's not the fact that the graphics are bad. It's just they put more fun into it because they had more room since they didn't have to have a huge graphics. So we'll just continue with this until we uh, finish with that. So my characters are attacking, they are damaging the bandits, Some of, sometimes they miss. Bandits can stun, you can stun instead of uh, losing hit points. Uh, one bandit down. Now the advantage of that, I mean the red line is your hit points, if, you, if those go down obviously you die. If you're only getting stunned, like they're doing right now, eventually you'll be unconscious. You can do a healing spell on them and bring them back conscious and you're fine. One bandit left. Of course I could have demonstrated you know, healing and just kind of brought them back up, but we'll just rush through this because it's not going to be a difficult battle. And just give you an idea. When you uh, start off the game, it tells you that the object of the game is that a uh, evil character has decided to outlaw all magic. And you being suspected of being a magic user, even if you don't have magic, get thrown into jail. Uh, the evil character, as it turns out, uses magic. He doesn't want anyone else to have access to magic. So what you have to do is develop your characters, wander through the different islands and worlds here, and explore. Uh, as you explore, you upgrade your armor, your weapons, your magic equipment, your magic itself, the spells that you have available, and eventually you have to find your final battle and uh, win. Now, with this you have an auto-mapping feature. The auto-mapping feature, you still have to move around a little bit at a time. So this area is pretty large. There are several ways to escape from jail, but the uh, <clears throat> first thing you want to do is try to get your, par your characters a little bit of uh, experience and build them up as best you can before you go. Uh, this little area that is not explored yet, I got that far, you run into the jailers, this would be the front, <coughs> the front ex yeah, excuse me, the front exit from the prison, but you will run into uh, hordes and hordes of jailers, one after another. You could event your characters until you do that, but you know, it's the more difficult way. Uh, there are other ways to do it, which, I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to play the whole game. That would be just a waste of time. There, One of the ways is right here at this wall. Let's see. Oh, there we are. Uh, that way. Uh -huh. So that takes you behind the wall. There is a whole area out behind here that you can explore, which I'll probably do next, just to advance the characters a little bit more, give them a little bit more experience, <coughs> and get them up to as high a level as I can. And there are ways to cheat and so on, but just to give you an idea as to the look of old games, the way that they were, and the things that you can do. Again, this is a free copy of it downloaded from an old abandonware site. Uh, I think I downloaded this a long, long time ago because, as I say, I played it on a Commodore 64. Yeah, they are enough fun so that you can you know, enjoy them over and over again. And when you start off, I'll just mention you, you start off with four characters, Apple, Glaze, uh, Ulrich, I think, was one that uh, as I wandered around the prison, I found a volunteer who was willing to join me. You can have up to six characters, and each one with different things. Uh, before I close out, I guess I will just kind of take a look. Uh, let's see, trolley, low magic. 
So these are the low magic spells you get for free right at the beginning. You can cast Mage Fire against your opponents, Charm, Lesser Heal for healing your opponents, Disarm your opponents, Luck, or one of the exits immediately goes to an underground area and you need a light, so you get a Mage Light. But again, I mean, uh, just a cute old-fashioned game that you know, is fun and easy to play. And as I say, yeah, I did notice that they have an upgraded version. The graphics look a little bit better, but it plays basically the same way. Available on Steam for just ten dollars. Uh, I did see also that there is a site that you can go to that you can play Dragon Wars for free online. I think it's free. Yeah, I didn't bother because I already have a copy of it. Well, thank you for watching, and I will say goodbye, and I uh, hope that you enjoyed the video. Bye.